Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here, Friday the 20th of September. Okay, so uh, we're moving the SS Fury motor to one side. There's still a bit to do on the head yet with a bit of machining, but I've just uh, rested it on there and uh, put the covers on, etc., with uh, other parts just to keep them uh, together. And uh, we are now awaiting uh, a few parts for this that are available, namely. Uh, Crosshead uh, screws, as I want, to, as I do want it to be original. So uh, in the meantime, we'll focus back on to the A70 Lightning and continue with the crankcase preparation. So uh, still a bit to do yet. Um, we've been waiting for parts to arrive for this as well, and uh, these are now here. So. What we've got that we already had was the uh, the new main roller bearing for the primary side. What's arrived recently is a new oil seal for the gearbox main shaft. And also what we've got to uh, fit it as well is the oil seal that fits against the primary drive main bearing um, to seal the the main case from uh, the primary case and uh, also got some new uh, crankcase exterior crankcase bolts as well as they were required so quite a few uh, jobs to do also what we're going to uh, focus on as well is the left hand crankcase half that was damaged by the broken rod you can see where it was grooved down the bottom there um, the the worst areas of that have been uh, TIG welded uh, but I have also got some Lumi, Lumi weld just to fill the remnants of that groove just to en ensure that we, we uh, retain a bit of strength and also we remove any potential uh, porosity as well. So uh, what we're going to aim to do today is to Remove the existing main shaft oil seal, which is the other side of the uh, main shaft ball bearing there. Um, and we'll need to uh, to get the oven on for that to heat the cases up because it's it's uh, proved to be a bit stubborn. And also, what we'll do as well, if we've got time, is we'll uh, put the left hand crankcase half in the oven as well uh, to insert the the new roller main outer race uh, into uh, that uh, that orifice there and uh, put it up to uh, to that flange. What's also happened in the meantime is that um, we've got the uh, ultrasonic cleaner operation as, as well so we'll uh, also give up these cases a good clean at some point and we also just need to check out the camshaft which I think we know is okay and the uh, seals are, uh, sorry the bearings associated with that and also before we put this together, the bottom end together, we'll uh, check that all the threads are good uh, in these cases, half uh, in these half cases as well. And if necessary, we'll uh, we'll helicall new ones. But as far as I'm aware, um, when we stripped, then I think we're we've been lucky in that area in that uh, I think all the threads are good. But we we'll need to check that. And also make sure all the oilways etc are, are all uh, cleaned out too. So uh, plenty to do. Let's get cracking. So uh, first thing will be uh, oven on. Okay, I've just split the uh, cases just so we can have a look at the um, the main shaft oil seal. There it is. It's obviously led a hard life in the past because the outer metal plate has been bashed around a bit um, but anyway that's what we're aiming to uh, remove once we heat this cover up so this is the uh, the right hand crankcase half and uh, on the far side there that's the new roller main which we will be inserting on, on that side we can just put in the outer race but to uh, Facilitate drifting this in. I'll put the whole lot in as, as one and use a, a center drift on the inner race. Um, you can also see 
the bit of a groove that I want to fill as a second stage with Lumi Weld. The uh, the main area of the damage has been uh, has been TIG, TIG welded, and uh, we did manage to uh, re retain the integrity of this because uh, luckily the uh, remnants of the rod hadn't blasted all the way through the case as they normally do. So the uh, ultrasonic cleaner is on warming up. I think that's going to take uh, a while actually. Uh, the oven's on in the kitchen at uh, 250 centigrade. So in the meantime, what I promised I'd do for uh, one of my uh, subscribers, uh, Torbjörn, hopefully that's um, pronounced correctly, is uh, measure up the timing side thrust washer. And firstly, uh, the diameter there, that's uh, inches, 2.118 inches. And in uh, millimetres, 53.80 millimetres. Give me a second and I'll, I'll come back and measure the uh, thickness of that washer. And also I think you wanted the, uh, the depth of the timing side journal on the crank there. So we'll, uh, we'll do that too. So give me a second and I'll come back. So the uh, thickness of the thrust washer is 0 0.095 inches, so just under a tenth of an inch, or again, convert that to millimetres, 2.41 millimetres, and give me a sec and we'll do the, uh, the journal. So uh, this was a little more difficult to, uh, to measure actually, to get the... Uh, the vernier's in, but what I've managed to do is measure between the crankshaft web and uh, the inner face of the thrust washer to get um, a reasonably accurate dimension of uh, the depth of that journal, and it comes out at uh, 25 point oh six millimeters. Or just under an inch, not 0.986 inches. So I hope that's uh, helpful, uh, Torbjorn. So what we'll do now is just wait for the uh, ultrasonic cleaner to heat up, and it's still at 12 degrees, so that's got a long way to go yet. Um, but in the meantime, we can uh, crack on and get that left-hand cover in the oven to uh, insert that uh, main bearing race. Okay, first job done. Uh, I'm sorry about the uh, any glare from the sun, but heated that up to 250 centigrade and uh, used the uh, the inner race here inside the outer race just to drift that in. But it only took one tap, um, and it's in. And the uh, outer race is up against the flange. So uh, we'll just leave that here then for a fairly lengthy time now to uh, to cool down gradually outside. And in the meantime, we'll get the other crankcase half in the oven so we can extract the uh, gearbox main shaft oil seal. Okay, 10 minutes the oven at 250 centigrade and the oil seal popped out with just a quick lever of a screwdriver. And, uh, is down there. I um, just wanted to be careful that nothing else fell out of this uh, this case at the same time, namely the uh, timing pinion bearing there, but that seems to have uh, stayed in. The cam bearing at the top here has also stayed in, but then it has a flange on it for uh, uh, to act as a, a thrust bearing as well. A bit difficult to see. But anyway, that's, uh, that's that done successfully. So we'll let that case cool down now and we can then uh, think about putting that into the ultrasonic cleaner, which we want to do before we, um, before we fit the replacement uh, oil seal. While we're waiting for the crankcases to uh, cool down and the uh, ultrasonic cleaner to heat up, uh, 
which is taking uh, a long while actually but getting there slowly I thought I'd have another look at this uh, main shaft uh, oil seal that we've just taken off the A70 this is a standard uh, A65 part and I didn't appreciate that uh, it's uh, metal sided on, on both sides with the uh, seal compressed in the middle. Um, it's obviously led a hard life and I'm sure somebody's had a go at extracting this in the past because uh, I certainly haven't bashed it around like so. Uh, I've just prized it off, attempted to prise it off when it was cold with no success and then uh, I've just prized it off now with the uh, crankcase is hot and it didn't uh, require much force at all, just a gentle lever with my hands, not, not even a bash. Um, but even on the inside, uh, it's definitely been uh, been well abused. The, uh, the replacement um, is um, Is, is metal on the uh, on the outer surface, but not on the inner surface. But that is a standard seal, and that's what we'll uh, and that's all you can get now. But I'll look into that in a little bit more. I'm just wondering why that um, has got a metal surface on on the inner surface against the uh, the ball bearing. It butts up against the main shaft ball bearing retaining circlip. Um, so there's uh, no chance of um, of the seal accidentally getting mashed up by the bearing. But um, just that, that might be interesting do to document, really, because I've not seen one of these before. Just one last point to to make about this uh, main shaft oil seal is that I thought I'd check the. Uh, the parts book as well to uh, ensure that the seal doesn't sit between, if you like, the two metal pressings. And uh, according to the book, it's just the the seal itself. Uh, so obviously that was um, something that was changed for the uh, A70 Lightning potentially. But uh, let me dig out the 1972 parts book with the uh, A70 Lightning addendum just to make sure that so that's not listed as a separate part. Okay, crankcases have uh, cooled down and we've got one in the ultrasonic cleaner. That's the right-hand crankcase half where we want to uh, replace the gearbox main shaft oil seal. So that's in at the moment. It has got up to temperature uh, a lot more quickly as it's risen, so it's exponential. But having said that, uh, Still not quite to target, but it's taken an hour and a half uh, to get there. But anyway, we're certainly up to a, a sort of working temperature now. It's mainly uh, a water-based fluid we're using with a, a soap concentrate. Uh, one litre of concentrate, 10 litres of water. And that's a 30 litre bath, so there is quite a bit of capacity within that. Hence, uh, it's taking a little while to heat up, but it's certainly doing it anyway. And we'll see what that case looks like uh, with um, a 15 minutes ultrasonic clean. Meantime, we can go back to uh, to this case now. That uh, bearing is in nice and solid. The the outer race, anyway. The inner race, obviously, is loose. Um, no play in it. Nice and uh, nice and taught. We can now think about preparing this for Lumi Well, but um, only after we've uh, given this outer case a bath as well. So we might get to the stage, uh, certainly within this video, of getting these cases all cleaned up, ready for um, oil seals and Lumi Weld in the next uh, video. But let's see how we get on. Okay, this is the uh, right-hand case after it's bath and it's really cleaned up well. The, um, the cast aluminium has been uh, brought up to a sheen that you uh, normally see 
on new motorcycles and pouring ground in dirt, so uh, very, very pleased with that. This is a treat. So uh, we've now got the uh, other crankcase half having a bath, as you can hear in the background. And just while we're here, I've got the A70 parts supplement out as well, so we can So while the uh, left hand case is uh, having its bath then we can um, fit the main shaft oil seal now into the right hand case. This isn't going to take much at all. Um, it's already beginning to seat just by pressing down with my uh, fingers so I'll just put something flat on the top of that and just give it a few taps uh, to ensure that it is well seated and butts up against the, the bearing retain a circlip and we'll be there so give me a second and I'll bring you back okay there we go that's the uh, main shaft oil seal fitted and uh, didn't have to tap it too heavily uh, but it's a nice snug fit and uh, looks a fantastic improvement on what was there uh, originally so job done so I've just inspected all the uh, threads on the case both on the studs and the uh, holes for the uh, cover screws and they're all very good uh, the oil ways are all clear except for as you can see there in the uh, cavity for the oil pressure relief valve uh, that still needs cleaning out as well I can see both the uh, channels both the feed channel and the relief channel um, but there's still a lot of gunge in the bottom of that, so we'll clean that out now. Okay, that's much better. And also uh, cleaned up the face for the oil pump mounting gasket too. So that's uh, that's that case done. Uh, ultrasonic clean is just finished on the second case, so we'll uh, we'll dig that out and see what it looks like. Okay, other crankcase half out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner and looking pretty spotless. One or two little bits just to tidy up, but uh, what a uh, what a transformation! So the key thing now is because we've got the bath up to temperature, we may as well utilise that as much as possible. So now I'm going to put in the uh, inner and outer cases, both left and right. So it's a bit of a mess over here just while I'm tidying these up, but there's the uh, inner, which side is that, inner timing case, uh, underneath that rag there, outer timing case, and then we've got a uh, primary chain case down there. So I'm just going to wipe these down, I'm going to put all three in, they should all fit into there, into the bath, and we'll get them going. Okay, so all the crankcase covers, all three of them uh, are in the bath. And uh, what we can do now is we can go back to the left hand crankcase half, which is the one we've just taken out. Look how that's come up, like new. Um, and we can fit the crankshaft um, main bearing oil seal for the uh, primary drive side, which is here. That'll just be a, a press in, and we'll probably uh, just centre punch it as well as they've done originally, as you can see, to uh, ensure that oil seal stays in position. Well everyone I totally failed at that. Um, I've managed to bend it while trying to press it in and then I uh, thought well the good news is I've got a spare so I tried to press that in and I've bent that too. So I need to have a think about that. I might be trying to press this in from the wrong side but anyway what we need to do first off is order another pair. These these might work, but um, there's no point in putting these in if they're distorted, because ultimately that seal 
is either not going to work or fail in a shorter period. The uh, the original seal appears to be good, but it's rock hard, so I'm not installing that, that back in. So this is all apart now, so we'll do it properly. So I'll order some more parts, and we'll have to come back at that uh, in a few days' time when those arrive. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll uh, wait until the <coughs> crankcase covers are ready to come out and I'll show you those and we'll call it a day at that but uh, for the 15 minutes or so we'll have a look at the crankcase covers and see how they've come out I know the uh, primary chain case cover probably won't look too good because it looks as though it's been it's slightly corroded the aluminium slightly corroded but um, it'll polish up okay but it was not going to look it pristine but let's see when they come out okay crankcase covers out after uh, two 15 minute blasts uh, an awful lot better, great improvement. Not quite there yet. Probably needs uh, another degrease and, and then another blast. As you can see, there's quite a lot of sediment there still to, to sort out. So I've probably been a bit uh, too optimistic with these, but um, they're, they're not too bad considering, really. And uh, as I said, the, uh, the chain case cover, this is going to need a lot of polishing because it has slightly corroded, but it's very, surf very much surface based and there's you can hardly feel it actually, so it's not going to take much to to polish that, that up at all, but it probably will need machine polishing rather than just doing it by hand. Um, and the only other thing to note then is that in the uh, inner timing cover, the uh, oil seal for uh, the uh, timing shaft of the points uh, needs to be replaced. Uh, I've, I've just removed that one because again it was uh, it was rock hard. So we'll order that up with another pair of oil seals for the uh, primary drive bearing on that side. Um, but other than that, um, not uh, not bad progress really for for this uh, episode. So we've uh, we've got the cases cleaned up. We've got one oil seal replaced. We've got uh, the bearing in. We really just need one oil seal now inserting, and then we can uh, start to think about putting the uh, the main cases together. So I'll get the uh, oil seals on order, and we'll put another episode together, uh, probably middle of next week when uh, when those arrive, and hopefully we can uh, we can really make some further progress. Uh, in the meantime, have a good weekend and I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Um, your interest etc is very much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Cheers.